it's never good. Lots of warnings. Everything's going wrong. Got my hazards on. Car's jerking fast, stop, slow. Engine's like turning on and off when I'm driving. Never good. Well, good morning, Las Vegas Valley. engine's gone into like shut down limp mode every lights on speedo's not working it's driving but like in complete slug mode I can't accelerate but the on the interstate there it's like it was losing power it felt like it was almost like you're turning the car off and on just suddenly slowing down speeding up it feels like even the power steering's not working properly it's really heavy to steer 30 seconds away from the house I'm gonna limp up to the front even the ignition lock is faulty. Brake proportioning. I just googled it um, and there's some other people talking about the same problem, the brake proportioning. Now there's a guy who describes the exact same problem. Never noticed till we had a, a recent heavy rainstorm, my door panel got wet, um, which is exactly what I've got, that wet carpet underneath. It corrodes some crimp connections underneath the... Uh, carpet on the driver's side and if this crimp connection is corroded it loses the connection and falsely tells the engine computer that the ABS has stopped working so I'm hoping it's that but I've rented a car anyway to get out of mischief and um, I will investigate and do a video on it and hopefully it will help someone else if it ever happens well, that's really weird put the key in it was still saying ignition lock fault let's turn this air off it was still saying ignition lock fault which is something else that was reported on that forum. It's been sitting out here for about half an hour. The carpet feels dry, but then, hey, we're in Vegas with a zero humidity. Now, I've been getting a water leak from up here falling down on the accelerator pedal for a while now, which I've always put down, I think I said earlier on, to the aircon. That does actually not, it doesn't feel wet, but it doesn't feel dry, it feels moist. So, I've got a rental car, but I'm gonna try and get rental cars so I can get into work today. And I'll continue the video when I take that carpet up and hopefully we'll find a corroded bit in there. Let's see. This is Fry's. It's number one, son. Just bought some goodies. Yeah, yeah. Crimping set, some wire, some bits and pieces. Goodbye, Fry's. Look, the storm clouds. It's actually rained a little bit here in Vegas earlier. Let's jump in the rental. It's a Nissan Rogue. Feeling roguish. Coffee, check. Crazy dogs, check. Wait. Saturday morning in Vegas. Broken Porsche. Well, let's just say comatose Porsche. And another broken Porsche. Good morning, Vegas. Looking a bit craggy this morning. Oh, that doesn't sound very good. Oh, my ignition lock faulty is still faulty. Now, breast brake pedal, I am breast and brake. Okay, there's just... Oh! Oh, <laughs> it starts. No. Here we go, Christmas tree lights. Everything's gone wrong, it's unhappy about everything. Um, floor is dry, because it's been, look, there's dust coming up. Because it's been sitting here for, well, actually, that doesn't quite feel dry. It feels moist. I'm sitting here in uh, Las Vegas weather for two days. Should have dried it out. Now, under here, if you can see, just about up there is the drain plug. And I actually uh, unplugged that last night and some water came out, about a cup full. But today I'm gonna to take this carpet up and see what the wires are like. This is just so annoying. Right, let's get this seat back. These bits just clip out. Ooh. <laughs> that can't be good. A nice rusty Torx bolt left behind by the previous owner. Now, if that's an indication of what's going on down there, 
I'm guessing these are the wires, the culprits. So I'm going to pull all this carpet up gently once I figure out how to do it. And have a look. Dirty it is under here. Anyway, this thing, which I found out when I changed the girlfriend's battery, just pulls up and slides out. Doing this, put your hand inside here, lift the seat all the way up. Inside here, you can click it up and you feel some plastic pops that just pop it up. Hear it? Then it lifts away. Right. Oh, it's very wet down here. It's actually wet to the touch and there's pools of water. Okay. So that's good news in that it does look like water ingress is the thing. Yeah, it's soaking wet. This really holds the water in. Wow. Look, you can see it in there. Now, how do I get this up without tearing all my car? Oh, it just pulls out. Sometimes the stars align. I just found in my toolkit a um, screwdriver that fits perfectly into this little bolt that I found under the carpet, which in turn fits the screws. So I'm going to undo this screw here and this screw over here, then the whole seat will tilt back. That's the same thing that you do to get to the battery, which is there. Once it's all out of the way, I'm going to try and figure out how to get this carpet up. The dirty, dirty, filthy slag of a carpet. Oh, now something I learned from when I changed the battery was put the seat all the way to its highest height, which kind of leans it all the way forward. And it means that when you lean the seat back, it clears the steering wheel and gives you a much easier access. So let's do that now. Okay, seat up. Okay, I'm definitely got a water problem. It is dripping wet. I can actually literally make it drip. I don't think you can see it on the camera. Look in here, look. See it running? This foam is soaked. And this is Las Vegas with zero humidity. These are the bits I got for the to fix this anyway. I don't know what I'm doing, so I don't know if that'd be needed. So I got some electrical tape, a small roll of wire just in case I've got to cut something out. I don't know. Deluxe wiring kit. This was about 15 bucks in a local electronics store. This was about a dollar. That's it. Simples. If you just pull up, this is where the carpet ends. Look. Oh, it's all soaking, soaking wet. Look. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna try and get all of this out. Let it sit in the sun. Where I'm sitting on the slope on the driveway, I'm getting all the water put. Look, you can literally see it just dripping in here. This is ridiculous. So I'm guessing this is where all the corroded cables are gonna live. I have to get some towels out here, see if I can soak it up. So here's the foot the blank foot pedal space. When I lift this up, I can see under here, here's all the cables coming out and it's, you can see water dripping down. It's sitting in a puddle. This is just solid puddle down here. Even the wiring when I feel in here is wet. So that's the problem. I'm gonna try and fold this out of the way. I guess get in there and have a look at these wires and try and package it all up. Okay, just pulled it up and fold it underneath the uh, brake pedal, so it's nicely out of the way. This is where the water comes down, by the way. There's the so there's the gas pedal, the accelerator, and above it in the corner seems to be a little drip that comes down. But I've noticed almost every time I go out driving, there's a little splash that would land on my foot. Uh, only small, I'm never worried about it. But look how much it's built up to be. And I guess because the drainage plugs weren't working, there's tons of it. When I lift this up, this is soaking wet. This is the wire for the electrics. <laughs> There's even water inside this plastic housing body. So the first thing I'm going to do is disconnect the battery and uh, try and pull this up. Ugh, even the uh, cotton wadding, that's, this stuff is soaked. I could rinse, wa wring water out of it. I'm going to take all this off and replace it. No wonder the poor car electrics are upset. Okay, you're all coming off, buddy. Let's give you a dry out. Let's pat you down like I did one of the kids when they were younger. Okay, it's taken about 10 minutes. I've obviously disconnected the battery terminals. Um, I'm using towels to soak up the water ingress that's in here. Um, the only connectors I can see are these ones. Uh, so here's the wiring. I snipped off, there was a cable tie here, here and here. Um, I just snipped them off, I'm gonna replace them. Everything is wet. And I'm guessing that it's these connections here that are very shoddily put together. 
that everyone's talking about online. If you uh, want to find out more about this, look on the Renlist forums for Cayennes. Look how crappy these connections are. So I'm just going to strip them. Well, I'm going to get them to dry first of all. Strip them off. Reconnect them and see if that solves my problem. And fingers crossed. Wet and corroded anyone? Yeah, look, they're all just full of gunk. Uh, right, strip off and clean. That's good. I'm hoping this is the culprit. This brown wire, brown to red it looks like. As I lifted it, it actually came away. Look, the end of it, I wonder if that focus is just completely gone. This is the other end of it, it's just a sticky wet mess. So I wonder if that is the ABS cable. Hmm, it's brown with like a red line through it. Let's, let's get that one back together. Okay, cleaned up connection. Use one of these little wiring tools, this comes in the little set. And I'm guessing it's one of these sizes, I'm just going to strip the end off and splice it together. Looks like that. Beautiful. There's my little bit. You filthy end of plastic, you. Oh, feels pretty bloody rock solid to me. Let's wrap it in electrical tape. How do vloggers learn to do everything one-handed? Pretty weird. <laughs> I was just thinking to myself, um, if there's any electricians watching this, they're probably swearing and going, don't do it like that. So, don't do it how I'm doing it. Don't do it like this. <laughs> well, that's them spliced and tidied and re-wrapped to the best of my ability. Um, everything's dry on the wiring side. Everything's getting drier down here. There's still wetness. So, Okay, you can actually see how wet it is down here. You push the cloth down, they're coming back soaked. So I'm going to leave it out here for an hour or two in the Vegas sunshine. Look, that's the sunshine. With the mighty mini shop vac blowing hot, deserty air in there. All right, Mr. Cayenne, I'll see you in a few hours. Wouldn't it be nice if you were working? Then I could just get in you and go places, but no. You have to sit there, sulking, all on your own. You German. You Bosch bastard! Anyway, let's see what happens later.